Amen. When everything else is crumbling around us. Amen. Amen. Now, first, I want to tell you, we are believers. We are Christians. Amen. We believe the teachings of Jesus Christ Amen. that tells us to love our enemies. Amen. Uh, do good to them that mistreat us. Amen. That's right. That's we believe right. that. Amen. But can I tell you and submit to you today that Jesus cares about the injustice of what happens to you or if you're mistreated? Come on, come when on. When we look at the Ten Commandments, half of them has nothing to do with our relationship with God as the first five. That's right. But the second half have everything to do with your relationship with man. Yes. Come on, yes. come on. God cares how you treat one another. That's it right there. That's right. We're not just a bunch of believers that can just be run over and men mistreated and, and we just forget about it. Slap me in the face. I know the Bible, they turn the other cheek, but you're going to snap. I don't care who you are. First of all, it's so much. Yeah, you're going to, I don't care how much, all you got. You're going to take so much. But we understand that vengeance is the Lord. Yes, it is. But does that mean we just sit back and idle and do nothing? Mm. I wanted to go on record today that in your house of God, in the place of worship where you worship, we believe God is our ultimate avenger, but we're not a body of believers that just sit back and do nothing when injustice is done to us. All right. Amen. All right. As a matter of fact, if you go back and dissect the scripture that talks about be angry but sin yeah. not, that talks about injustice. Come on, come it's not on. just me being up in my emotions or just being uh, angry because my child acted up or I got me through on the job or somebody then made me angry. It ain't, it ain't just an emotion of anger. Come on, come it's on. when you see somebody being mistreated, That's it. you're supposed to be angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Let me tell you something. Yeah, we preach and believe forgiveness, but that doesn't excuse you of the consequences of That's what you've true. done. That's right, too. Come on. Me forgiving you has nothing to do with you. Come on. And everything to do with me. That's yes. it. That's yes. it. Me forgiving you relieves me of living with a life of heartache, yes. pain, yes. and burden. That's it right there. That will ultimately turn into resentment, hate, yes. and before you know right a cyclical cycle of generational curses. Yes. That's it right there. And my child that had no problem with another nation of people would ultimately have a problem because I didn't deal with it. Come out here now. Yeah, none of us know what it's like to be in a slave field or in the cotton field. None of us have been around during that era. I think Pastor said he was around doing it, but he was too young to really know what was going on. All right. So what do we really know about how to be mistreated by uh, elder Caucasians or white men? All right. All we know right. nothing about it. Our influence, our influence in that is only by what we've heard That's or what it. somebody said. That's it right there. Right. And it's because somebody ultimately didn't forgive Come and release themselves. Come on now. And Mary last year did a wonderful teaching on forgiveness. Yes. I can forgive you, but that doesn't mean that the relationship is made whole all over again. Yes. I can go back to where we once were. Right. Understand right. what forgiveness right. ultimately is. Right. I can forgive you, love you, hug you, and bless you. But our relationship would never be the same. Yes. I can't right, trust right, you. All right, all right. You need to understand that, people of God. Right. I'll forgive you. I'll love you. But that trust level will never be the same. Yes. And now I know you are able and capable of hurting me. Right, right, yeah. So why? We live this life. I don't hold you accountable for what you did because I'm forgiving you. All right, all and I haven't right. forgotten about it. Yeah. That's an old cliche that we always use that doesn't really work. Forgiveness is forgetting. Baby, if you forgot about it, you're going to be hurt again. Yes. Talk to me somebody. All right, all right. If you forget how somebody mistreated you, you'll be mistreated again. Yeah. All right. That's it. But I can forgive you. Yeah. I can love you. I can embrace you. That's I it can right release there. you. That's it right there. The harm you've done to me. But you're going to pay the price. Why? Because God, God. is our avenger. Yeah. And God cares about injustice. Yeah. Right. I want you to understand something. While forgiveness is everything for you, you need to pay the price. I can forgive you, but your consequences is going to pay the price. That's it right there. That's real. Systematic racism is real. Yeah. I don't know Glory what it God. was about this week. And see, and the reason why I opened up the way I did because I've been seeing posts all week talking about the black preacher has been silent. They ain't said nothing. And I'll be honest, I had a dialogue this week with a young lady that visited our church on watch night. 2017, she said. And she told me that while she was talking, I'll tell you this. She gave me three things. She 
because first of all, she said she blamed black people. She said, well, she said we've done it to ourselves. The injustices that happened, it's our fault. I said, explain that to me. She gave me three reasons. One was, uh, we have not become self-sufficient. We have not done anything to better our people. Two was, two was, we haven't manufactured our own weaponry and armor. Ammunition, rather. Third thing was, uh, I don't remember the third one, comes in, but the fourth thing that came along with the third one that she concluded with was that, and you can basically never trust the people who preach and practice love your enemy or forgive them because it is God's will when injustice happens. And I'm told, I said, well, wait a minute. I've been in church my entire life. My entire life. All right, not, not some of my entire life. I've been and I've never heard a preacher say that injustice done to a black man was God's will. Now, we've just been talking about that. Word of deliverance over the last several weeks. God doesn't do everything, but everything is allowed by. I need you to understand that. God doesn't do everything, but everything is allowed by God. You have a permissive will. I can take a bad example. I can take my gun right now in my truck, come in here and start shooting. God didn't do that. I did that. And God's not going to stop me. I have a permissive will to do whatever I want to do. That's up to me. And if you want to know why babies atheists act that way, why do good things happen to bad people? Why do babies die? Why would God allow women to be raped? Why would God, if there was a God, why would God allow injustice to the black men? Sin! Sin. That's it. Is the reason. Sin is a reproach to any nation of people. That's right. That's right. And when sin runs rush out in the lives of men and women, this is the chaos will be the end result. Come on, yeah. That's right. And I'll tell you like this. But, but we can live on this principle. Come on. How do we get rid of it? If I my people, people. which are called out, would humble themselves and pray, it'll stop injustices. Amen. It'll stop rape. Jesus, you can't put that on Jesus. Come on here. Humble oh. themselves and pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seek my face. Sir. Turn from the wicked ways. That's it right there. Sin is the cause yeah. of what we're going through. So I tell you, the believer, yeah, we can be angry. We should be angry. Not can. You should be appalled yeah. by what you see. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. You should be angry by what you see. You should want justice to be served. Glory you should have a voice if you have a black son, Hallelujah. if you have a black yes. father. Yes. Yes. You should have something to say to these people. And it ain't always kumbaya. Hallelujah. Now the Bible lets us know there's a time for peace, then there's a time for war. There's a time for war. There's a time for love. There's a time for hate. That's right. In all things, there's a time and a season. And I can tell you, if God is angry, matter of fact, let me tell you, Jesus never preached that we should just take life from people or bad behaviors from people and just live by vicariously. Right. Matter of fact, he told you to kill yourself. I'll tell you that one time. Kill yourself. My God, my God. Tie a loose around your neck and cast into the sea uh -huh. my God. before you fend the who? The least of my little ones. Yes, yes, that's it. That's the word. I didn't like when I said that, but the only time you see Jesus curse in the Bible. He was talking about how people mistreat people, and he was talking about church folk, scribes and Pharisees. Whoa, until you scribes and Pharisees. You don't come to me, and you stand at the door and stop people from coming to me. Whoa, until you. When he did those seven woes, he was talking about relationships between them and God. That's it. That's it. Between them and God. So we don't just take it. Come on now. We don't just sit back idly by. Hallelujah. We know God will avenge us. Thank you, Lord. But when do we say enough is enough? Thank you, Jesus. Now let me be clear. We do not condone going downtown, burning buildings, burning cars. Come on, come on, come on. That takes everything Make it right. about George Floyd away. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's a distraction. That's it. That does nothing to help the cause. That's it. And you're a fool if you think so. 
my God. You're a fool if you think you can tell them that they are the reason why we're burning cars. Come on. Taking work from your people. Come on. Tearing down your yeah. own community. That's right. You're a fool if you believe that. But we stand oh, together God. in the And understand what I'm saying. While they try to discredit what we believe, yeah. actually it credits what we believe. All right. Because if we stand united, then we can stand against anything. That's it. That's it. We definitely can stand against the wiles of the enemy. Amen. tactics, forces. Well, the Bible says we wrestle not against what? Flesh Flesh and blood. But against principality, spiritual wickedness, and what? High High place. place. Stand firm, people of God. Be angry. Seek for justice. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked about it. Now, what's the solution to the problem? I'll tell you what the solution is to the problem. Now, well, Pastor, yeah, Jesus is the answer. The truth of the matter is, everybody's not going to run the cross. So what can we as a people do? Well, first of all, let's start at the very bare middle. We get out and change, we vote. Say, well, that's insignificant, because we can vote popular and Trump's still getting off. Or Obama, if you didn't vote for, if you vote for, didn't vote for Obama, he getting off. I want to make sure I'm clear. I ain't I'm no Trump hater. I'm, yeah, I'm not a Trump hater. That's a conversation for another day. <laughs> for, you, for you people that are Democrats. <laughs> Come on, speak, Valton. <laughs> so, but what can we do? Make your voice be heard. When it's your time to go to jury duty, get up on that jury trial. There you go. Let me be honest with you. I have Caucasian friends. I've never been mistreated by outwardly right, by them. Right. We have some that we're connected to in our family that I know I, I mean, they, they, they love my mom and dad. I mean, they love me. They look out for us. They love our family. They love this church. All right, all right. But when you sit idly by and say nothing, when you I'll be careful. This is such and such a subject, but I believe it got to be said, y'all. Oh, God. You make your voice be heard. Oh, really because God. they're going to support their own, whether you like it or not. That's right. That's right. That's right. They're good. They like us. That's right. But don't think for one second they're going to convert. Oh, and when it's time for you to go sit on a jury trial, Hallelujah. I ain't talking about a brother that killed a white mother that's walking in the street or killed his family or did something like that. Oh, I'm talking God. about that. But when it's time for you to sit back and render justice, sometimes we gotta sit back and say, you know what? I, don't, I didn't see enough. And just like they do your brothers and your sisters, and when they see that the judicial system don't work for them, just like it don't work for us, they'll start making changes. We got black noise. They got white noise. All right, and all right. white noise will kill you. Yes, yes. Black noise will get you killed. Yes. Oh, and we God. need white noise to stand up for us. Thank God for them that have been on the forefront yeah, over the yeah, last couple yeah, days. Yeah. I can tell you, they've been out there. Yeah. And that's going to bring about change. All right, all right. So we, 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 we align ourselves with our Thank allies. You, Lord. Teach your brothers. Glory teach your sons. To God. Tell your husband that you appreciate him before this happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate your brother, your black man, yeah, yeah. before they're bogged down with forces and fights that they didn't have to fight. All right. Tell them that you appreciate your husband. Yes. Tell your son that he can be great. Yes. Speak life into him and not when he's facing this kind of stuff. Come on, come on. I submit to you, it's hard being a man. It's even harder being a black man. Yes, yes, yes. Appreciate him. All right. Matter of fact, Father's Day is coming up and we're underappreciated. Appreciate it. Love all. Do your part. We don't have to take it. We can want justice. Our voice can and will be heard. But allow God to lead and direct us. Amen. Amen. As he said, there's a time for war. There's a right in war that we need to fight. Amen. Amen. Happy to tell God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes we get caught up in, and we, we've been, this is in line, we've been talking about lamenting lately in the Bible. I mean, sometimes we get caught up, we come in here, we shout, we praise. 
Run by when we have some good church. But yet it still does a fight that we got to fight when we get out there in the real world. Amen. Amen. I don't know what it was. There was something different about this. I seen the Philando Castro. Give me an ID. He reached for the ID. He gets killed. You heard about Gene Botham sitting in his house. Cop walk in. And let me got to tell you, everything ain't racism. Come on now. Come on, man. Come on. Everything ain't there's a difference between killing a man because he's black and killing a man because I was threatened of him because he's black. You understand? Know they are afraid of the black man. They know what you possess. You need to know what you possess and what you represent. Come on here, man. That's why you need to pull our pants up. Make sure our hands are Walk with men of integrity. Put your head up. You don't know what you know yet. Because they, you don't know what you represent. But they do. And it's the, it's the, what's that book? It's the, uh, yeah, you just know that my name ain't home state. Call me Voucher. That's my name. That's it. And I'll conclude with this. That was a, that, that book, it's uh, talks about the element of surprise in it. Whenever your enemies see you coming, they, they have an upper hand on you. Right. Come on, come on. Whenever they see you coming, I mean, that's why they discredit you. That's why everything to look up. Uh, you know, all, 85% of the men in jail population is black men, you know, who don't have their father. The, the worst communities in all these major cities are the black community. White represents purity, cleanness, black, death, darkness. My God, my Everything God. that's centered around us, we were raised around that we were negative. Again, oh, everything God. that's centered around us is no good. It's not good enough. You need to my know God. who you are. My God. Again, it goes back to the God we serve. You are a royal priesthood. Amen. Yeah. A chosen generation. Yes, yes. Set aside for the master's you. You need to know that, though, that you, who you are. Amen. That's and it right there. you know there. who you are, your behavior will start. That's it. Amen. Amen. Speak Amen. like to any individuals. You say Amen. Yeah. Amen. We can get angry, but we can't sin. Hallelujah. We can want justice. Glory we can to forgive. God. We want the penalty to be paid. Thank you, Lord. Somebody has to pay the price. Pray the price. Amen. 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 I can't tell God thank you. Caught up in this time and worshiping and praising. Sometimes there's a real fight that's going on, and I believe sometimes we got to step back and say something about it. Amen. Amen. I believe you're a fake, even if it ain't you. Even if I've never experienced, I got black boys that I'm raising. All right. I'm right. Bro, it's a black boy, brown boy. Amen. He don't even realize. Except right now, I don't know what's going on in the world. I got to prepare him. And Taz, as you get ready to go into this next phase of your life, you're going to start seeing that it, we wouldn't run in the same race. As smart as you are, there are some things that's going to be standing in the way. Yeah. Amen. But we speak the blood of our children, yeah. of our boys, that yeah. no devil in hell can stop them. Pass away, but his word will stand forever. Now stand up on your feet, everybody.